Good morning, everyone. So let God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This day, may God's will be done in your life. May you focus on his will and his purpose. Not our will, not our purpose, but God's perfect will, his perfect plan for your life. Let it be done. May that be your heart's desire, because God's perfect plan and God's perfect will is what we should desire, his perfect plan. See, we may think that we want something to go our way in life, but if we want it to go our way and it doesn't turn out our way, we get upset and we get mad. But see, when God opens up that door, I promise you, it is perfect. The perfect timing, the perfect situation, when everything comes together for his will, for his purpose, and his plan. So I'm going to read to you today a passage. So I want to read to you out of the book of Isaiah 30, 18. The Lord will heal his people. And therefore will the Lord wait that he may be gracious unto you. Therefore will he be exalted that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. For the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem. Thou shalt weep no more. He will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, he will answer thee. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed in a corner any more, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left, you shall defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver, the ornament of thy molten images of gold. Thou shalt cast them away as a menstrual cloth. Thou shalt say unto it, Get thee hence. Then shall he give the rain of thy seed, that thou shalt sow the ground withal, and bread of the increase of the earth. And it shall be fat and plenteous. In that day shall thy cattle feed in large pastures. The oxen likewise, the young asses that ear the ground, shall eat clean provender, which hath been winnowed with the shovel and with the fan. There shall be upon every high mountain and upon every high hill rivers and streams of water in the day of the great slaughter when the towers fall. Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun. The light of the sun shall be sevenfold. The light of seven days in the day that the Lord bindeth up the breach of his people and healeth the stroke of their wound. When things are very hard for us in life, the Lord is saying that wait upon him. Wait upon him. And he will bind up the wounds. He will bind up the broken. He will wipe away all the tears. Morning may come in the night, but joy comes in the morning. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Great Comforter, bring you comfort. For he comforts the ones that are mourning. And he wipes their tears away. And he binds up the brokenhearted. Father God, I pray that anyone that is feeling pain, the pain of loss, the pain of suffering, you know, Father God, it says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but you will deliver us out of them all. You are a Jehovah Rapha. You are God, our healer. I pray that you bring healing and restoration 
that you comfort those that mourn in this time. Father God, your word speaks of these promises for healing, and I pray for healing and restoration in the hearts that are hurting right now, the hearts that are broken, the hearts that feel lost. Wrap your arms around them, Father, and wash away the pain. Heal them, Lord, and restore them in this time. I ask this of you, Father. Comfort them. You are the great comforter. Bring them peace, Lord. Settle their spirits with your peace and with your love. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.